I'm going to give this one another go now. I made up this cone just to have an old paint tin. So it's it's more of a nozzle where it's smaller at the end than here. So that should help with the top end, I hope. Apparently, if you leave it open, that it's better for acceleration. And if you funnel it down, it's better for top end. I've had to move the, the motor forward a little bit, probably this far, just to fit all this in. And I made the wires a little bit better under there. And I just had them pretty much down, you know, just like like that. So now I've I've put them in a in a line, so it's going to hopefully be less restrictive. All right, just going to give it one more go before I give up. Um, I've moved the batteries back this much. So, let's see what that does. Alright, so moving the batteries back didn't fix it. Um, so I've moved my GPS from here all the way back to here. That's all I can do until I go back. And Closer, but it's not happening while I'm here I might as well flatten the batteries and uh, try everything so I've just hooked up the batteries on 8s I've just gone to series instead of parallel um, this is how you blow stuff up but maybe it can get uh, the nose up um, with the extra power we'll see yeah it can't it can't handle the amp draw which is fair enough I've shortened, I've shortened this now. Um, it was, it was right up to here, um, and it was 55 mil roughly, round. So now it's 70. So we're starting from 90 to 70. That's a bit better. Starting to get on the plane now. Uh, getting into some crazy shit now. I was thinking when I was playing around with that cone that uh, all the water, like when it won't get up on the plane, all the water is coming up over here and going into the into the fan. So I'll stop that by putting this on. I think the weight might be pushing that damn thing down now. Ah. Yeah, it's still sucking water. You can see it coming out the back. I think just get rid of that damn cone. Okay, wing off, tube off. Only difference, only difference now from when it did 40 k's an hour is, is this. Nozzle's got to go. I did have the motor back more before as well. That's the only other thing that's different. Uh, it's been about a week, a little bit over, since I last took this out. Uh, and as you can see, I've made a bit of a change. When I started on this project three or four weeks ago, I ordered this and it's only finally come in. Nozzle can go up or down. It can also steer. I don't want that. I've locked it into position so it can't steer. I still want to have my rudder. So I'm not lessening any drag or anything like that. I just want to keep everything as it was before I put this on. I didn't want to run the wires from the motor 
through this like I didn't want to drill holes in this so I've, this is an extension this piece here and just riveted it all together uh, and I've got it set all the way up the way I did the servo more for neatness than anything didn't really allow too much movement on here so I've got a little bit just I've only got that much but if it works out um, I can I can redo the servo and actually make it so I can move a lot but I'll just keep it on the, ma on the maximum height see if that fixes it okay oh yeah that's it All right. Well, that worked a treat. What if I change it? Just gonna give this one last run before I pull it apart and put a prop on it. I'll give it a go on 6S. Maybe I'll blow it up. Lift that up. I've got two 6S packs in there in parallel, so it's heavy as hell. Just do that to protect the, the batteries. These things draw a lot of amps. Nah, didn't like that. If I could be bothered, I'd pull the timing down in the, in the speed controller. It might not be fast, but it bloody sounds good. I just don't want to pull it flat out because it'll happen the same thing will happen what happened the first time that three-quarter throttle there we go too much that can't be good or it could be the uh, could be the blades slipping on the shaft maybe something like the grub screw snapped no, doesn't matter.